Just so you know, I'm not an artist. Like not even close, okay? I got three crafts from the dollar store and these crafts are really bad. Like, they're really stupid. I thought I could do them and it would be a good time. The first one is a fairy door. It's literally a plank of wood with a door on it. Second item is kind of worse. It's literally a rock in the box that you paint a carrot on. Third item is an elephant with glitter. I don't know why there's glitter for an elephant. So this carrot, the bottom is busting open, so we're just gonna slide it out here. Oops. This came with a rock carrot colors, and um, there's no paintbrush. Oh, crap. Um, I guess I'm gonna make this one after I make the other ones and use their paintbrushes. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the ceramic elephant, and it's a work of art, a work of wonder. A work of mystery and I'm about to ruin all that so we have these three paint colors and then this tiny little paintbrush and a bag of glitter elephants I feel like they're gray but we only have the primary colors I know we can mix it to make gray but that's a lot of talent I don't know how to do that so I'm just gonna open this blue one I can't open this oh no oh uh, you're pretty difficult uh, okay that was not a good idea I honestly can't open this this is this is ridiculous. <gasps> I got one open. I am so proud of myself. I got the red one open. Maybe different parts of it should be different colors. I'm gonna start with the ear. So I made the ears red, but I accidentally got a dot of red on there. I'm just gonna make the top of the head red to cover that up so it looks natural. Well, I mean, as natural as a red painted clay elephant can look. So I've made some redness on the elephant. So honestly, I wanna use some other colors but I don't know if I can open the other colors. I want blue, I want blue really bad. I really want this, I want this, I want this. Mm. Mm. I got it, I am the champion of the world. I feel like I've always imagined my primary color elephant with a blue butt, so that's what we're gonna do here. It's not like looking like I think it should. I was gonna use the yellow too, but like I don't wanna go through that again to open it, so it's just not happening. Some people are very creative with visual arts. I am not one of them. So now we have this little bag of glitter for the elephant. I don't know what to do with this. I'm gonna put glitter on this baby elephant over the bag so that if it goes everywhere, I don't have to clean it up. So I'm just spraying glitter on it. It's very scientific, very artistic. This elephant is a work of art. It belongs in an art museum. It gives Da Vinci a run for his money. Now we're on to the fairy door, which I think this one will be a lot easier than this beauty here. There's three colors, and I just have to paint in the lines. That's gonna be really hard for me. I never colored in the lines as a child. So this comes with the plank of wood with the design on it. A stand that really is effective, as we can see. Paint with the exact kind of paint opening thing as the elephant, so I might not be able to get this open. And this one comes with a paintbrush. This is a much nicer paintbrush than the elephant. I need to figure out an artistic vision for this fairy door. I think I got it, I think I got it, I think I got it. Oh, 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 yes, okay. That was so much easier than the elephant paint. So I have to figure out what on this door I want to be pink. Bricks are red in real life. Well, most bricks. And I'm just gonna make them pink. Oh my gosh, I just started. I was trying to paint in the lines. And I already messed up. At this point, I've given up trying to go on the lines. I'm very proud of myself. But now it's time to focus on the door area. And I have yellow and blue. I've always in real life wanted a yellow and blue door. I'm just painting some crappy yellow in here. This is looking like a great fairy door, if I ever saw one. I am making a masterpiece. This is how Da Vinci felt when he made the Mona Lisa. I am making a piece of art that will live through time, that will supersede me that will be displayed for all to see in the Louvre. Well, it doesn't look nice, but at least I had fun making it. This is an open invitation to all fairies. If you are interested in going through this door that I have made for you, um, there's no actual door, it doesn't go anywhere, but I invite you to try and uh, you're welcome. Okay, you're welcome. And last but not least, we have the one I'm the most excited about, a rock. They give you two things of white and one thing of orange, even though a carrot is orange and not white. I don't understand. I'm just gonna go with it. So we're going to 
Oh, wow, 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 that was so easy. That was like no effort at all. Did you see that? Of course you saw that at the camera. So now we're going to paint this carrot surface with the paintbrush from the elephant. So thank you, elephant. This looked a lot better in my mind before I tried it. I feel like actually, out of all of these crafts, the carrot in a garden, that could be really cool. Like if kids painted these and then put them in a garden, what are you possibly gonna do with the fairy door? I started out as a hater with the carrot. I'm not a hater of the carrot anymore. These are really cool. Okay, they're not, but I'm trying to be optimistic, you know, like these are really okay. There we have it, my trifecta of beautiful crafts from the dollar store. If this doesn't inspire you to go out and make your own crafts from the dollar store, I don't know what else will. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching my channel. Please subscribe. I do not think I'm gonna be doing dollar store crafts anytime soon, but this was an experience that I hope to forget.